Thank you, Ken, and especially thank you, Mike, that your speech was impressive. I have to say that it was well-rounded. There was nothing about it that I would particularly point out as being a weak point. You did such an excellent job, and part of that, part of the reason that it's so excellent for you is because you were telling us experiences of your own that you could relate to, that you knew about. You didn't have to read notes or look at statistics and data. But these were things also that you feel strongly about. So you're passionate about that. And even, even, if, even if your passion is not exaggerated, even it's, if it's just straight telling you a story, we could tell that you were really feeling strongly about it at the time. And even now you could relate back to that and it were conveying it successfully to us. So that was re quite remarkable. Mm -hmm. There's a checklist for the, the, the objective of your speech. Your vocal variety was the objective. And it starts, the checklist starts off with, how about the topic selection? Was it conducive to vocal variety? And I suppose that part of your speech had to do with the technicalities of how you turn and everything. And so some of that is not necessarily ideal for vocal variety, but you still did a good job. And the volume, rate, pitch, quality, uh, was all great. Uh, expressiveness, very good. Especially some of the gestures, you know, whether it be you know, the hitting on the shoulder in the ear or some of the things you did with your face and everything was quite remarkable. Organization was good, word usage fine, body language when you were showing us, you know, the stance and everything was quite impressive, I thought. Now, as far as possible ways to make your a good, a great speech even greater, I think that it's, a, it's really a, a good thing if you can capitalize on the opportunity we have here to expand your comfort zone because you have a comfort zone that's natural it's it's not what you might call exaggerated but i think it would be a good idea to try exaggerating your your uh, take the rate you might you might experiment with and then just making it that much different so that now in the future when you speak again you'll have that greater range to work with because it's just like moving on behind the record if you're only used to staying close to it you feel awkward moving out of that but if you've already practiced moving out of it I remember one time I did a gesture right went way up like this and it was surprising everybody but it may gave me the feeling that I could do that I could do it again right now you know it's just part of your toolbox so that's my suggestion but fabulous job